hello everyone this is mp so today we gonna start our new series which is like vb scripting so in my previous videos we have already uh, done the javascripts basics so this is kind of vb scripting series i am just starting now so let's start so basically vb scripting is a client side scripting language like javascript so is it like uh, we gonna uh, write that language on the client side like on the server pages so so that user will get responded immediately so there are a lot of a uh, lot, lot of advantage of that scripting languages so you can learn more about that on google it so a uh, second thing is vb scripting stands for visual basic script and it is a light version of microsoft visual basic so basically microsoft visual basic is a object oriented language like c sharp and all other language like java so microsoft um, made the visual basic and visual basic script so visual basic script works on the client side and the a microsoft visual basic language you write in your logic all right the syntax of the vb script is very similar to the visual basic so syntax is very similar like javascript as well so vb scripting was developed by microsoft with the intention to develop dynamic web pages all right so as from a uh, reading from the line you already know like what it means so guys vb scripting is just a scripting language so there are three environments where vb script can run so the first environment is iis internet information server which is from microsoft web server all right and another is window script host the native host environment for the window os so basically in the window if we save our text file as a vb uh, dot vb vbs then we can run it directly because our window script host will run it and third is internet explorer the simplest hosting environment we can use to run the vb scripting so there are mainly three environments some most commonly used like the windows script hosts and uh, internet explorer all right so as you guys know that when there is an advantage of something there must be a disadvantage of something so it is always plus and minus but anyways let's uh, uh, discuss the disadvantage so the main disadvantage of vb scripting is the most browser except internet explorer will not process vb scripting code so it is very hard to it is not a good practice to put the vb scripting in your web based language uh, web based uh, applications or you know websites and uh, if you are using for the if you are using for the uh, if you are putting your vb scripting on the web based browser based application so it is not a good practice to do that so you guys should use uh, javascript so which is more popular than vb script so in other words if the site has a visitor who use a web browser other than internet explorer like chrome firefox or opera then vb script will not be useful so see guys there's a it's a clearly a disadvantage so we should not use the vb scripting in that in that manner moreover vb script will not run on computers that run on operating system other than microsoft windows including linux mac etc so basically to run the vb script you need a window host so which is only available on the windows but it's not like you you cannot run there at all you have to install a host to run the vb script you just don't give a name like uh, a text file and save it as a vbs file and you can just double click on it and run it so you can do that in the linux mac and other operating system 
सो गाइज द वी बी स्क्रिप्ट यू कैन राइट इन ए नोट पैड और नोट पैड प्लस एनी टेक्सट एडिटर लाइक वी डिड फॉर द जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड देन वी सेव इट वी कैन सेव इट एज ए जे एस फॉर जावा स्क्रिप्ट बट फॉर वी बी वी कैन सेव इट एज ए डॉट वी बी एस एंड इट विल इमीडिएटली रन सो इन दिस केस आई विल यूज ए वी बी एडिट टेक्सट एडिटर सो which have already have the uh it will like guide us to write the language so it will it have intelligence so it will give us a idea how the syntax works so it is very easy to write your syntax rather than doing mistake so i think this is a very good text editor for the vb scripting you can also run so its evaluation version is always free but it when you try to run it it always ask you or oh, you do you want to purchase it or you want to still want to uh, run with the evaluation version so as you know that uh, we you can purchase it or you can run with the evaluation version too so evaluation version never expired but it is g- keep giving you those pop ups like okay do you want to purchase it or not all right so you can uh, download this from vbsedit.com so it is totally free so it is not a virus or anything so don't worry you can just download it and use it so let's start coding in it so here guys so when you launch the application after installing the vbs edit it will give you this window now what we going to do we going to save it first all right so i i would like to save it on my desktop so let's my uh vb script my vb script so dot vbs so it is you can uh, also save it as a unicode but yeah just save it like simple vbs okay so when you uh, save it then it will show the it will show us the it will show us the header your file information over here so guys i am not writing this in a html format because that is not our intention so eventually uh people who have to learn the vb scripting they gonna script in the uft which is also called qtp to uh, test the automation so that's why i'm making this video otherwise i i don't have any intention to teach you like how to write in a browser because that is not a good practice for the browsers you guys can use a javascript so here we gonna do only those practices which we gonna uh by which we will be proficient in the writing code in the uft so that is my main intention here so the first step is like uh, the variables so we will talk about the variables so there are some rules for the variables so variables must we begin with the alphabet so it should be start like y or something like that and then you can put zero whatever you want to put and you can also use the keyword dim to declare your variable so dim name and sorry not colon <laughs> okay so we can also use the message message box so when you click like m s g and then you have to press control space and it will automatically um give you or like making it a full word for you so we can put the name in it and see what name do i'll t- i think it will not give you anything because uh, we have to put some value in it so let's give a name equals to uh mp and then save it and then run it so in the free version you always get uh, always have this message so always skip it so it will take some time to run it but 
if you have to use it for free then this pain you have to bear it so what happened here it didn't give anything oh guys here here's the problem so so we you can't uh, declare um declare and assign the value at the same time so you have to be put the name here and assign a value so declare here and use it here okay so let's save it and try to run so this is kind of syntax error anyways these scripting languages are very syntax sensitive or you can say case sensitive whatever you like to say so you have to be more careful so here it is all right so what we can do here guys uh so variable is variable here i input a number so it does not matter to the vb script if it's a string or variable so variable is variable it it is treating same like the javascript do so it is not like a data specific so you can uh, just define the variables in a one row you can define as many as you want and then you can use it okay so let's uh, put a number now number equals to 100 and here what we can do we can concatenate it so in the javascript we used the plus sign but in the vb script we use and and then let's give a space little bit then we can again say and number number okay here you go oh my god this way it will be taking too long guys so let's uh, try another way of doing that so we instead of using its own uh, host we can use it is also using the window host but it is taking so long which is very annoying so let's uh, drag this here and uh, let's see how we can use it just put it like open with and you will have a microsoft window based script host so what you can do choose from the list it will shows us view the list and then you can choose it you're gonna use it microsoft window based script host if you don't have you can install it it's free so it will shown up here if still it is not showing like browse it and you can look up your program in the program file okay then just select this and click here always use the selected program to open this kind of file click ok so immediately the uh, file icon become change so right now it is using the uh, window host so once we do done here we are gonna save that file here we are gonna save that file here and we are gonna double click it and it gonna run immediately without using uh, this software host okay so yeah so this is like that now oh, let's not used but <laughs> unfortunately i clicked it so yeah this does not know any number and it does not know any type of uh, data like what data we are assigning to it so it is just no like it is a variable and that's it all right guys so this is it for this video session this was a just introduction for you for the vb scripting so i hope i will post plenty of videos because that is vb scripting uh, we can do a lot of things so stay tuned thank you bye bye